It is Sunday, August 23rd, 2020, and it's 524 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to read 1 Kings chapter 21. But first, I want to mention something that I just heard um, Pastor J.D. Farag say. He said that um, this ship is sinking and is sinking fast. That we need to get, excuse me, as many people on this lifeboat of salvation as we possibly can before Christ returns. This is how urgent it is. This is how urgent salvation is. And this is why I was so upset this morning when uh, my church, okay, I don't go to a brick and mortar church. I'm a member of a media church, a family worship center, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Sunlight Broadcasting Network, which is the home of Jimmy Swagger Ministries. Well, I was so upset this morning and last week that at the end of service, there is no altar call. They have hundreds of thousands of people watching, and they don't off, they don't do an offer call, altar call at the end of the service. And I think that the Lord is not pleased with that. And I'm not pleased with it either. And I sent him an email message, and um, I don't know about calling or anything like that, but but I said, I, you know, I'm just not pleased with that. They have hundreds of thousands of peop lost people watching that service. And there's no, hey, if you're a sinner, you can get saved right now. You can receive salvation. You can make it onto the lifeboat. You can, you can go to heaven instead of burning in hell. They didn't do that. They didn't do it last week either. And I'm disgusted by it. You know who does do it? Pastor Paul Begley. Every time Paul Begley is on the air, he asks, are you saved? And he gets people saved on a live stream. And he sends people free Bibles. Pastor J.D. Farag, he does the same thing at the end of every broadcast. The ABCs of salvation. Getting people saved. This is what it's all about. You can't be filled with the Holy Ghost, Donnie Swaggart, unless you're saved. Okay, enough of that ranting. First Kings chapter 21, but anyway, J.D. Farag just said, this boat is, it, this ship is sinking fast, and we need to get as many people on the lifeboat as we possibly can, because the, it is, the ship is sinking fast. Jesus is coming fast. And all of these souls are going to be on us. 1 Kings chapter 21. And it came to pass after these things that Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard, which was in Jezreel, hard by the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. And Ahab spake unto Naboth, saying, Give me thy vineyard, that I may have it for a, for a garden of herbs, because it is near unto my house. And I will give thee for it for it a better vineyard than it or if it seem good to thee I will give thee the worth of it in money and, Na and Naboth said to Ahab the Lord forbid it me that I should give the inheritance of my fathers unto thee and Ahab came into his house heavy and displeased because of the word which Na Naboth the Jezreelite had spoken to him for he had said I will not give thee the inheritance of my fathers. And he laid him down upon his bed and turned away his face and would not and, and would eat no bread. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said unto him, Why is thy spirit so sad that thou eatest no bread? And he said unto her, Because I spake unto Naboth the Jezreelite and said unto him, Give me thy vineyard for money or else, if it please thee, I will give thee another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give thee my vineyard. And Jezebel his wife said unto him, Dost thou now govern the kingdom of Israel? Arise and eat bread, and let thine heart be merry. I will give thee the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, and sealed them with his seal, and sent the letters unto the elders and to the nobles that were in his city dwelling with Naboth. And she wrote in, she wrote in the letter saying, Pro Proclaim a fast. And set Naboth on high among the people. And set two men, sons of Belial, before him to bear witness against him. 
saying, Thou didst blaspheme God, God and the king, and then carry him out and stone him that he may die. And the men of his city, even the elders and the nobles who were the inhabitants in his city, did as Jezebel had had sent unto them, unto them, and as it was written in the letters which she had sent unto them. They proclaimed a fast and set Naboth on high among the people. And there came in two men, children of Belial, and sat before him, and the men of Belial witnessed against him, even against Naboth, in the presence of the people, saying, Naboth did blaspheme God and the king. Then they carried him forth out of the city and stoned him with stones, that he died. Then they said to Jezebel, saying, Naboth is stoned and is dead. And it came to pass, when Jezebel heard that Naboth was stoned and was dead, that Jezebel said to Ahab, Arise, take possession of the vineyard, and Naboth the Jezreelite, which he refused to give thee for money, for Naboth is not alive but dead. And it came to pass, when Ahab heard that Naboth was dead, that Ahab rose up to go down to the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite to take possession of it. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite, saying, Arise, go down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, which is in Samaria. Behold, he is in the vineyard of Naboth, whither he has gone down to possess it. And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Hast thou killed and also taken possession? And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, In the place where dogs lick the blood of Na Naboth, shall dogs lick thy blood, even thine. Ugh, gross. And Ahab said to Elijah, Hast thou found me, O mine enemy? And he answered, I have found thee, because thou hast sold thyself to work evil in the sight of the Lord. Behold, I will bring evil upon thee, and will take away thy posterity, and will cut off from Ahab him that pisseth against the wall, and him that is shut up and left in Israel, and will make thine house like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and like the house of Baasha, the son of Ahijah, for the provocation wherewith thou hast provoked me to anger and made Israel to sin. And of Jezebel also spake the Lord, saying, The dogs shall eat Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. Ugh. Ugh. Him that dieth of Ahab in the city of dogs shall eat, and him that dieth in the field shall the fowls of the air eat. But there was none like unto Ahab which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord whom Jezebel his wife stirred up and he did very abominably in following idols according to all things as did the Amorites whom the Lord cast out before the children of Israel and it came to pass when Ahab heard those words that he rent his clothes and put sackcloth upon his flesh and fasted and lay in sackcloth and went softly and the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite saying Seest thou how Ahab humbleth, humbleth himself before me? Because he humbleth himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his days. But in his son's days will I bring the evil upon his house. Hallelujah.